Nakakatin na ba ako? Good morning. Good morning. Alright, so it's 5.35 already in the morning. Yes, morning. I am working day shift after a week and a half of night shifts. It feels so good, but also took a bit while for me to recover on my sleep, especially. I was groggy for a day and a half just to recover my sleep. I've been saying a lot. Recover word. Anyway, so again, I just did pretty much the same routine that I did with night shift. I showered, I got ready, did my little bit of skincare, I brushed my hair. I brushed my teeth a little ahead, but I don't think I'll be eating breakfast here at home anyway, so probably I'll grab something outside when I drive through, probably McDonald's. And I'm just gonna head downstairs and then grab the food that I made last night and snacks. So I have two things that I always bring, at least when I have stock. I got them from Costco. This is Kirkland Granola Bar. It's pretty good. I tried it for the first time. Chocolate chip. Basic ones, but not bad. And this one, a lot of people bring this Welsh fruit snacks. So let's head down and maybe let's do more chica there. Okay. So I got banana over here, some roasted potatoes with some boiled egg. I got whole wheat bread and just little snacks over here like those madeleines from Costco. And those are Hello Pandas. This is how big my water bottle is. It's about a liter. I got it from Walmart. And then I just reused some little lemon little bag and then yeah, I just use it as my lunch bag. I also bring reusable utensils. This one is from Miniso. The case is already like sore a lot of times, but it's got a really cute spoon over here. And a little chopsticks just in case. I do need one. Let's get some breakfast. a little waiting so I'm just waiting on a, a reserve spot for drive throughs Lady on the drive through she was she's so cute on track on the road and people ask me what kind of shifts I prefer I personally like days and nights um, just if you're in days basically it's either you do 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. or until 7 p.m. 7 p.m. It's just get through the day and you don't have to sleep in or like do some other things that could possibly distract you. And doing day shifts is like your regular routine. When you used to go to school, you wake up in the morning, you go to school, you finish your day, and then then repeat nights because there's less people in the hospital. Um, for the most part, when the patients are sleeping, then the work seems to be manageable, fingers crossed. There are times that it gets busy. For sure, the roads during the morning are way busier pre um, versus when I go on nights. A lot of people already drive early to go to work just to prevent the traffic. Um, I would say, personally, most of these people would work in a hospital as well and just trying to get there on time. It's already almost 6.20, just on time for me. As soon as I get my parking, I'm just gonna like eat in the car and then head off to work. Another thing, as a float nurse myself, one common mistake that I do is not checking my schedule at least, even the day of when I go to work. There are times that our staffing just makes a little bit of short notice change that we have to relieve on a different unit where we were. 
supposedly scheduled. Alright, time check. So it's already past 6.35. I'm still early. I'm on my parking spot. Luckily, I got a good spot so I can just like jump down later on and then go to my work. I already ate a bit of my sandwich when I was waiting for the left turn. So I'm just gonna finish this and then bring my hot cup there and head to work. So it's already past 2 o'clock and I'm just having my lunch break and it's pretty busy so I'm just gonna catch up, eat for like half an hour and then I will have like less than 30 minutes to just do everything, catch up. I just heated my food, potatoes and eggs, I took a few bites of pizza. So here we go. Alright, so 8 hour shift felt like 12 hours, it was crazy busy. And I did not really miss days in terms of busy wise, but I'm so glad that it's over. So I'm just gonna get to my car and then bring some good info. But thanks for watching again.